Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my orchid section. Um, I am out here today. It is Sunday afternoon, probably about probably a little bit after 5.30 p.m. And, um, and I am gonna start um, treating my orchids for thrips and I wanted to bring you guys with me. Um, you guys, I did discover that I do have a thrips problem and it's something that happens uh, about four or five times a year. Uh, this time it happened um, for the first time in my orchid section and I need to treat it, I need to attack it before it gets worse. Uh, some of you guys have never experienced thrips and some of you guys always message me uh, and ask me questions, um, what does thrips look like, how do you treat it and all that. This is why I want to make the video um, that I'm making now. Uh, so basically what happens is that when you start seeing a beautiful uh, flower spike starting to bloom, um, somewhere in between uh, the blooming the blooming um, right before it blooms uh, the that flower spike turns brown and all of the buds kind of dry up if you're lucky enough to see at least one flower that flower comes out really dark it comes out really brown and dry uh, because those little tiny insects that are microscopic are sucking the life out of them so right here I was expecting about seven blooms and if you can see right here you know what let me try to bring this down just so i can show you better so if you can see and this is super heavy oh my goodness okay this is really heavy let's see how i can do this all right so um you see how this is let me just hold this right up the right way all right so right here i've got what i thought was going to be a beautiful um a beautiful show um i did get let me see if I can get a, a nice picture. So I did get a nice flower spike here, which was going to give me probably around eight or nine, around eight or nine flowers. And you see how the flowers are, um, are turning, that they're turning brown and they look very dry. And all the buds have um, kind of like burnt off. Uh, that is definitely a sign of thrips. Uh, these little bugs are microscopic. Like I said, you cannot see them. They live inside. Let me just put this here until I can hang her back. Uh, they live inside, I don't know if they live inside the leaves or they kind of live inside the flower spike. I don't even know where they live, but they will suck your orchids dry and you will never get a pretty bloom if you don't attack it. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. I did notice that I do have maybe four or five orchids that have the thrips um, going on because it has happened to them. Um, I was expecting, I was expecting right here again uh, many flowers. I got about six or seven flower spikes and they all dried up okay and then this one here really was the one that got me I mean uh, a few videos ago I did I was excited because I saw a flower spike and this is how it ended up so uh, I'm gonna start treating it um, I do like to start I do like to treat uh, my orchids with the insecticide in once uh, the Sun goes away so it's about 530 a little bit past 530 in the afternoon I will be using Orthene, which is a soluble insecticide. Now, if you guys choose to go organic, uh, that also works. My experience <laughs> with all the organic stuff does not work as good as the Orthene. So I choose to do Orthene. Now I am very careful with it. I've got a mask right here and I'm not going to use gloves today, which I should, but I'll just be extra careful. Um, this stuff is very potent. I mean, it has a whole list of, of just directions to be very, very careful. Try not to inhale it. It smells really bad. Um, I've already put it, I've already started actually to spray and I've put it inside the insecticide sprayer, which is what, this is which the one that I like to use. It's um, the Chaplin. Let me show you. So it's this Chaplin six uh, gallon insecticide sprayer. And I did put um, three teaspoons. Uh, I believe you can even go to one teaspoon per gallon. I like to do half a teaspoon. So I put on three half a teaspoons and I filled it up to the number three. And once the hose is connected and everything goes through, it'll give you three, three gallons total. So um, just half a teaspoon per gallon is what I usually use. You can go up to one teaspoon per gallon, I guess, depending on um, how you want to treat that. So uh, this is what I use. You can find this at OFE in Miami or you can get it um, online or you can even call them and order it with them. So um, Orthin is what I'm using and uh, basically this is how i do it i put it all in here and i just soak everything from the especially in between the leaves and the roots sometimes but i try to get mostly in 
in between in between the leaves okay i do try to avoid anything that has blooms uh, just because i don't like to get um the insecticide on the bloom i don't even like to get fertilizer on the bloom so i'm extra careful with the um with insecticides or fungicides so so that's it you guys this is my uh my sunday afternoon uh, video just wanted to let you know what's happening um with my with my orchids i don't like having thrips i don't think anybody likes having thrips but if you don't if you don't know and you're not familiar with thrips and you see that this ha is happening to you um that you're getting uh flower spikes and they're drying up and the flowers are coming out um damaged or dried then definitely it is a thrips issue so you want to treat it not sure um what is natural uh you know how to treat it naturally maybe the hydrogen peroxide i don't know that method uh but like i said the one that i use is orthene and you can probably get that um either amazon or or a store so i'm going to finish treating with thrips um i will bring you back I'll, I'll i'll bring you guys back and give you a better video on what's going on in my garden there you go it's been raining these days and a few things going on um, but I promise you a morning walk is coming soon so you guys can see what's going on in the garden while I'm here I'm going to show you some beautiful blooms uh, thankfully these did not get any thrips on them I'm, this is my Aretas Korat Koji this is the tag right over here uh, if you guys are not familiar with this orchid it is amazing it smells delicious I can even smell it from over here uh, look at how pretty those blooms are I mean, I love the aretas. So thankfully the thrips did not get to them and I was able to um, get these pretty flowers. And, and that's it, you guys. I will um, see you guys in my next morning walk. I'm expecting some flowers coming in soon for my catacetums and, and that's it. I hope this I hope this video is helpful. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, again, Orthene uh, you can find on Amazon or uh, my favorite orchid supply store, which is OFE in Miami, and they believe they have a website, OFE International. You can get some of that some of that stuff, and the insecticide um, they also have that, so that's pretty good. Uh, but that's it. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.